Hi guys, in this video I will show you and explain you how a QEV works and how to build one. So this is the QEV valve, it is absolutely necessary for any type of air gun. To activate the QEV valve we have to, we need a, a valve to let the air going out from behind like this. Every time that the air go out from behind it activates the QEV shooting all the air out very 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 fast so this is the QEV valve I um, represent in purple these two pieces this simple connector with inside the small tube behind it there is a male to male connector and inside this connector there is a small piston a push on the front with a spring and back uh, there is uh, something to activate the QEV. When I put the air inside the QEV and I let the air going out from behind, we have now low pressure. So the pressure sucks the small piston behind. Now, all the high pressure air that is on the front can go out very, very fast from the palpo thing. So this <laughs> is the QEV valve. So let's uh, see how to build one. The first thing we need is a, um, a connector, a half inch connector. Inside it we have to glue a small tube, a simple tube like this, using some epoxy glue. And we have to screw everything inside a half inch female T, like this. Have to stay perfectly in the middle, like this. Now, I take a rubber washer, I cut uh, a small one and I put it on a 6 cm long screw, like this. Behind this uh, rubber washer, I put a metal washer that push the small uh, gasket on the front. I stop everything with a small nut. Behind it, I continue the process using another metal washer. This time I take a rubber or washer and this washer is very important because uh, works like an o-ring I put two metal washer and stop everything with a nut the harder I put this nut the lar much larger becomes this uh, black uh, rubber this uh, little piston have to slide inside the ha half inch adapter like this uh, remember it's very important that uh, black uh, rubber we did earlier have to don't have to be very very precise have to leak a little bit of air so that air can pass uh, behind it like this almost perfect when we choose this piece it's very important to take it all smooth without this uh, welding strip because have to slide inside very easily i put some oil on the piston and behind the piston a small spring that push it uh, on the front. So let's see how this uh, small piston works. Can go back and forward, like letting the air go through the, um, the first piece we did earlier. Now we take another adapter, I screw it on behind it, like this, and I put behind the spring a metal washer. The, this metal washer has to go inside another adapter, half inch adapter, like this. So the, the spring push the piston very firmly on the the left part of the QV. So let's see how to activate the QV. You can use a simple valve, but for me it's much easier to build these parts. So I take another rubber washer, I put it on a screw, I take a gas tube connectors, half inch half inch gas connector, and this uh, rubber washer can move back and forward using a spring, keeps it uh, closed. I put a, a metal washer to stop the spring and I stop stop everything with a nut. When I push uh, this part, the air can go behind the white rubber and I screw this behind the QV. This activates the QV. So let's see how it works, this uh, system. So the QV is the most uh, important piece for an air rifle because let the air go out very 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 fast in uh, just in a second we have all the power we need so um, check also my, my other videos where I show you how to build uh, the air rifle and all my DIY tutorials I'm sorry for the bang the bad English is not my first language I'm Italian so enjoyed the, the tutorial and let me know if you understand it if you like it if you want more video like this on the on air guns uh, 
like this. So see you next week uh, with another video. Ciao ciao.